Ellen Gitz, and it is finally upon us. But it isn't through any deliberate revealing of the rules. It seems that we have a leak, so somebody must have got their box and uh, opened it up and turned to the Gasgol page and taken a picture and shared it in the community for us. So thank you, whoever you are. Uh, I'm sure they would have revealed it in a day or so anyway, but there we go. We've got the rules. So let's take a look now. Let's take a look-see. So, Gazgul Fracker starts off with a movement of seven inches. It then, as he uh, moves down in wounds, drops to six and then to five. Uh, he has a weapon skill of two plus, a ballistic skill of five plus, strength, which again will be dropping down from seven to six to five, toughness seven, He's got 12 wounds, so he is over that all-important 10 threshold, but 12 is not enough. If you're going to be over the fucking threshold, you really want to be over it. We wanted, if you're going to be over the 10, we wanted like, I don't know, 18 wounds, something like that would have been, well, I, was, I had in my mind anyway, something around about that number, so 12, mm, I don't know. Hope he's survivable. Um, attacks, he has five. Um six and then seven what i had to look at that again what he actually gets more attacks the more wounded he gets so he just becomes more brutal the more wounded he is that is so gas oh i like that that is cool that's mental <laughs> so anyway gas ghoul fracker is a single model equipped with mork's raw Gork's core stick bombs, and it says only one of this model can be included in your army. Shit, I don't think any more than one can fit on a bloody tabletop. <laughs> uh, right, so let's have a look at this weapons profile. Mork's Raw has a 36 inch range, it's assault 12, strength 5, AP minus 1, damage 1, and of course. Gork's Claw has, it's a melee weapon obviously, it's strength times two of the user, so um, depending, you can have, so you're going to end up with seven, um, so you can have basically f uh, strength 14 at the max, um, dropping down to strength 10, so not bad at all. Um, it is AP nothing. Uh, I, what am I talking about? AP minus four. Uh, nothing. Ha! Uh, minus four and damage four. Um, and he also has stick bombs. We all know about them anyway. So I'll move on to the abilities. He has, here we go, mob rule and daka daka daka. Of course. He also has great war. Which says, friendly. That's friendly all. Orc infantry units within six inches of this model can be chosen to charge with even if they advance this turn. In addition, add one to the attacks characteristics of models in friendly Orc infantry units whilst their unit is within six inches of this model. If their unit made a charge, move this turn. So there you go, you're getting an extra plus one attack for all your boys that are up close to, to Gaz. He has an ability called The Boss Is Watching says, when a friendly orc unit within six inches of this model fails a morale test, this model can restore order in a brutal display of violence. No shit. If it does, that unit suffers D3 mortal wounds and that morale test is treated as having been passed. So it's uh, basically like this smashing heads in it. Um, Prophet of Gork and Mork. This model has a four plus invulnerable save. In addition, this model can only lose a maximum of four wounds in each phase. Ah, okay. That's where the uh, survivability would be then. So yeah, so he's 12 wounds, but he's going to last three rounds anyway. Nice. <laughs> uh, Goffs is the best. Reroll hit rolls of one for attacks made with melee weapons by models in friendly Goff Orc units whilst they're unit is within six inches of this model so there's your goth buff there it is so you're basically getting an extra one attack made in melee yeah handy nice for goth people but i'm glad that he is more universal 
And we've, last but not least, we've also got a Grand War Boss, which this model can be included in an Orc detachment without, that's keyword Orc, without preventing other units from that detachment from gaining a clan culture. Note, however, that this model does not benefit from any clan culture unless the can, clan culture selected for that detachment is the Goths clan culture. So, yeah, um, he's basically going to get the Goth buffs, isn't he? Uh, but you can include him in any Orc army uh, without preventing them from having their usual clan um, buffs. So that's nice. Yeah, I like it. I am, um, I'm pleased. I think... He could have done with more wounds, but then he's got that um, the Prophet of Gork and Mork, which sort of protects him. It's an unusual um, ability, but there you go. It is what it is. I mean, he's going he's gonna to last. He's got the survivability, so I'm happy, yeah. Well chuffed. Um, can't wait to uh, see more. I, I bet we've got more news. I just can't wait. Oh, God, this stuff has got me so excited. I just had to share. I haven't even had time to properly absorb it. I've rushed this video out like a mad hatter, trying to race against all my good friends and competitors just to get this news to you and gain all your appreciation for bringing it to you super, super quick. But yeah, I've got to sit down and absorb it. I'm sure we can all chat about it in the comments. So let me know what you think, guys. Are you happy? Uh, what are you happy about? What are you unhappy about? Let me know in the comments. See you soon.